Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I want to show you how to record a customer deposit but just to leave it in accounts receivable, not to move it over to a liability account. There's gonna be reasons you'll do one versus the other. If you ever wanna chat about it, I'm more than happy to chat with you privately. This video is just to show you one more way of addressing this. So if you have a customer who has prepaid some money and you don't wanna set it up in a liability account, you just wanna leave it as a credit on their account that will automatically get applied to an invoice, this video will show you how to do that. It's very simple. I'm just gonna go to customers on the top of my screen. I'm gonna come down to receive payments. I'm gonna enter my customer, in this case, Sally the customer. So I select Sally, and then the payment amount will make it 750. I enter the date. I can enter a reference number if I would like, but the key is this information in the lower left-hand corner. I can leave this as a credit to be used later, or I can refund it to the customer. I want to leave it as a credit to be used later. So that's all I do. I click save and close. Let me show you how this looks on the balance sheet as well as the profit and loss. I'm going to start by going to reports, company and financial, balance sheet standard. When I look at my balance sheet, I can see my accounts receivable is negative 750. It's negative 750 because Sally has paid too much. If I want to see it in a different way so that I can see who has paid too much, I can go to reports, I can go to sales, oh, I can go to customer and receivable, I can go to AR aging summary or customer balance summary. I'm just going to go to customer balance summary for this. And I can see Sally, the customer, has a balance of negative 750. If I look at the profit and loss, I'm not going to see the 750 there. I'm not going to see the 750 because it is not linked to any sort of income account. All right, let me just tie this in a little bow. We'll make an invoice. We'll apply that money to the invoice and then we'll close the video. So I'm going to go customer. I'm going to go customers, create invoice. We'll create an invoice for Sally. We'll do one. Um, we'll do a project, we'll do a cool project, we'll make it 1250. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then QuickBooks says the customer has credits, also known as a prepayment sitting there in accounts receivable. Would you like to apply those to this invoice? The answer is yes, I would. So I do that. It says you've got $750 worth of credit. I wanna use $750 worth of credit. That's gonna leave a balance of $0 worth of credit. I'm gonna click done. And now I can see in the lower right hand corner, my remaining balance for Sally is $500. I'm gonna go ahead and select save and close. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to see me create a video for, please leave them in the comments down below. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions, we'll provide a link to that in the description for this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.